Hey there guys, what's up? This is Captain J bringing you another video and before the video starts, like always, a very quick disclaimer. First and foremost, the music does not belong to me and even though I may talk about different products, it doesn't mean that this video is sponsored unless I actually say that it is. Without taking any more of your time, let's get right into the video. Yeah, people come, yeah, people go. I just sit back and collect gold. Hey guys, it's Captain J. Welcome to another video. So first of all, just want to apologize real quick for not really being here that much. Just been really busy and been researching a couple of videos and just been a little bit difficult trying to make a little bit of content. I have, however, picked up an Elgato HD60 Pro so I can do some streaming online. I've been testing this out and it's been uh, been pretty useful. So I'll be streaming regularly, hopefully here soon in the future. So anyway, let's go ahead and get what we are going to be talking about today. So before we start, there is a couple of items that you are going to need. One of those is going to be your CPU key. I'm using Teapot, so you are also going to, new, to need the new client files. Teapot has this over on their website, so you can go ahead and download that, as well as a new dashboard. And anything else that you may need will be down in the description. So please go ahead and look at that. As no, Microsoft has just recently upgraded the dashboard for the Xbox 360 to the new one which is 17544 um, it was a little complicated to get everything ready and going and it, it did take me a little bit of time so I wanted to make this video so I can go ahead and show you how to better ease the process of doing it uh, note anything that I'm going to either show or talk about that would need to be downloaded is going to be down in the description I'm going to go ahead and put it onto my Sharon website or Sharon web page that I use uh, so you guys can easily download everything that you're going to need. Note, um, please listen carefully to um, the points that I'm going to be showing you because I did make a couple of mistakes myself and it took me a little bit to realize as to where the mistakes were and then trying to get everything back together in order and do what everything correctly did took me a while. So I just want to make this as easy, simple and as pain free as possible. Let's Let's go ahead and get started then. So when you first boot up your console, you're going to see the update required message. And naturally, you want to, you're going to want to update. Once you do this, unfortunately, even though you are seeing the download in progress, the download will not be completed. The main reason is because you need to uh, update the dashboard um, and do a NAND dump. So you're going to receive this message very typical to try to retry again and see if maybe you had some you know somewhat of a problem um, as I go down into the console settings and then system information you're gonna see that I am currently on 17526 so uh, this is what we want to do next back out of settings and then go to your XCX menu you don't need to log in uh, all we need to do is just get into the settings. What we're going to do now is that we're going to head over to our HDD1 and then go down over to the simple NAND flash. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and open the simple NAND flash and then hit default. I am actually going to delete this one right here so that way I can go ahead and make some space and do what I have to do. So go ahead and run the XCX. Uh, file note if you don't have the simple NAND flash I will leave it down in the description for you to be able to download it um, and once you get to the screen of course you're gonna press X and then wait for the NAND to dump once it's completed the application is going to close or you're gonna need to press any button for the application and close is gonna send you back to the dashboard from here we just simply need to go back to XEX menu and then back over to uh, simple NAND flush from here, you should now have what is called Flash DMP. Now from here, you can copy onto a USB, or if you rather, you can transfer through neighborhood. Either or, we just need to get it to our computer to do the dash upgrade. Next thing we want to do, once you have downloaded the XE build, what you want to do is go ahead and extract it. Once you do, you're going to end up with this folder right here. And you can go ahead and throw the old one away. So let's go ahead and open the XE build head right up to the folder and then run the application now on here 
Go ahead and select the 17544 kernel version. Then we can go ahead and go up to open. And wherever you have the flash uh, dmp.bin, it can either be either on your computer or the USB. It doesn't really matter. Now, um, I do have an extra one from where I did it earlier, so I just want to make sure I throw that away and delete it. Now, uh, wherever you have written down your CPU key, go ahead and make sure you copy and paste onto uh, the XE build. And when we, once we have already paste, we can go ahead and click on create image. Then from here, just give it a little time for it to complete and then you should be done and you can go ahead and close this down. Now, either on your computer or your USB, you should now have uh, the updated version or upgraded version of the dashboard. Of course, the file should be named updflash.bin and then we can go ahead and copy it onto the USB or transfer through neighborhood, whichever one you want to do. Back on the Xbox 360, you can see that I am still on 17.5.26. Now from here, we do need to head back over to the XEX menu and over to uh, the NAND dump and NAND flash because we are still going to have to do um, the dump on it. So uh, either from the USB or from the neighborhood, just make sure you copy the file onto the simple uh, 360 NAND flasher and then go ahead and run the XEX uh, file and then from here what you want to do is go ahead and press A and then start this is one of the places where I messed up because I thought I needed to dump it as in dump it from uh, the file to the Xbox but I actually what I ended up dumping was this still the same exact one back onto the USB so this is one of the places where I messed up and once you do this uh, the console should give you about five seconds and it should reset so yes I messed up and I'm still on 17526 but I have done it already and unfortunately I wasn't able to record it I really don't want to do it again because I don't want to take the risk of having to go through all the trouble that I had to do once again so this is the next step that you next step that you're gonna have to take once you see um, the Xbox letting you know that it's going to restart after those five seconds you will get um, an update which should be uh, an update to the stealth server that you're using I'm using teapot so that way it did take a second for it to update to the new version um, if you don't have the client make sure you go um, to either teapot or whatever one you're using and get the new client uh, files that you are going to need um, so mine just did an update you can see now that I am and still I am now on 17.544 um, so I did not know still why it wouldn't go on to uh, Xbox Live until I read this message so for some reason whenever you do the kernel upgrade it kind of locks you out and you have to reset the family settings for some reason and um, this is where I did have a little bit of trouble and issue trying to figure out as well. So um, what you're going to have to do is now over on uh, the settings, head over to the family icon, which is uh, last one or the one before last on the bottom right of the screen. And then from here, what you're going to have to do is put in your passcode. If you have one, good. If not, you may have to reset. And if you do have to reset, you do have different ways of doing it. You can either do it by putting in uh, an answer to uh, a password or uh, a question that you may have had, um, or you can go either to xbox.com forward slash uh, passcode reset and do the steps there. Or if you rather do, you can put in a couple of button combinations that might work for you. Now to do this, what you're going to have to do is go over to settings um, and then on console settings go down to system information and here just put in a simple button combination and it'll ask you if you do want to reset now this is depending on whatever console you have this is the button combination that worked for me and once I put it in it asked me if I wanted to reset all the settings and I just went ahead and did it
after the console has reset you are going to have to do the initial settings once again of course uh, right now the teapot was not able to connect to the server which was okay i just went ahead and uh, the, did the initial settings um, once again from the very beginning and just went ahead and got everything completed once that was all done and over with i finally got to the dashboard of course once i was here went ahead and took a moment to reboot the system once again once it was rebooted of course right away teapot was connected uh, as soon as teapot got connected it did actually ask me if i wanted to do the upgrade which was the avatar upgrade that is needed if not of course the characters are going to be white or the avatar icon will be white out which of course this is totally and completely normal of course this is the reason why as you will need the avatar update therefore i didn't have to do the avatar update separately i could go ahead and just get it all done at once without any real problem i did actually speed up the process just to make it a little bit faster and a little less painful to watch um, then once the update was completed the system did reboot and once it rebooted of course i am now over at the new dashboard and of course the avatar update has already been done set to the system and now the characters are not white out anymore or the character uh, icon the avatar icon is not white anymore of course because the up avatar update has been installed so now heading over to the dashboard information you can now see that i am now up and on the brand new 17544 if you have gotten to this point congratulations and i do hope that this tutorial has helped you uh, to get over to the new dashboard as i have um one thing that i am going to let you know as well is that my xcx menu for some reason has been causing a fatal crash and of course it's intercepted by uh, my xbox 360 so i am also going to leave the new xcx menu that i uh, that i have found that works really good with uh, the console that i have um, and it does not or it hasn't as of yet made a fatal crash so anyway like i said i do hope that this tutorial has helped you out and if um, if everything worked out for you please let me know if you are stuck on anything in specific also let me know leave it down in the comments and i will try to help you out as soon as i can and as fast as i can um note this um was made on my personal xbox rgh there are several different rgh consoles out there and they all may differ so if you have a specific console uh, i do suggest kind of looking or searching for the specific console that you may have um, what i mean by this is when you're doing the family reset settings it might be a little bit different on different consoles because they just have different button combinations but like i said if there's anything else in specific that you may need i will try to leave it down um, in the description uh, once you ask me or tell me what it is or that i have or may have missed or not if you happen to need the new xcx menu i do suggest using horizon i'm going to leave this down in the description as well like i said and then once you go ahead and open horizon and go ahead and plug in a formatted usb that is able to be used with horizon you can go ahead and plug it in and then inject a file and of course open up the xcx menu folder and then go ahead and click on the xcx menu then you can go ahead and select yes and the file will be injected onto the usb and then you can go ahead and transfer it over to the console anyway thank you guys so very much for watching this was captain j and i'll see you on the next one peace